What's up guys, what's up? How's everyone doing? Literally out and about. My first day to work and uh, I think I'm going to be late. <laughs> I can't find the building. I'm screwed. I'm totally screwed. But it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. I think I've found my uh, literally location. If not, then I'm screwed. On the good side, later on today, after I finish work, you know, I'm going to be watching um, Spider-Man Homecoming, looking forward to it. Uh, I'm looking forward to doing the review and literally the journey uh, to the movies on my vlog will be pretty, pretty cool. Hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, one quick thing I wanted to say, the last vlog I did literally, uh, was it yesterday, the day before yesterday, we involved a street party, we got flagged on YouTube. So what happened was um, three tunes or three songs got vlog um, vlogged got flagged so the vid video could not be viewed by hardly anyone it said video unavailable um, but literally what I did was I uploaded the uh, video to my Facebook and the whole video was running smoothly so literally click my Facebook link page down below so you can watch that full epic vlog yo what's up everyone what's going on literally just uh, finished work first day yo uh, I was about to do this vlog lit well this part of the vlog literally uh, on my phone I'm sorry my camera but because uh, my audio recorder my battery literally died I thought let me just pull out the phone as we always as I always say there's no excuses so I'm literally about to just head into that tube station over there and literally about to go home eat jump in the shower and come back literally to um, literally back here again and watch um, Spider-Man Homecoming so looking forward to doing the review man you know this movie has got me excited I can't wait to uh, uh, to see it man see you guys in a bit what's up guys what's up literally just finished uh, work yeah of course first time maybe who knows literally about to head home eat jump in the shower and then watch Spider-Man Homecoming. Yo, this is long though. How am I supposed to get home for this movie? Look at this. Like, look at this. Insane, yo. What's up, guys? What's up? Literally on my way to watch the movie as we speak. Spider-Man Homecoming. Here I come, boy. You get it? Here I come. Guess not. I did. Cannot wait. Yo. Shot will be able to control their breathing and have a far better chance of staying alive. Big screen. What's that? What's that? Let me see. Alright, guys, I'm just getting myself sorted. Literally, I'm still digesting this popcorn, man. I felt sick, you know. Where's the rest of the popcorn? I actually, I actually dumped the popcorn over there, I'm trying to find a bin, but I couldn't. Like, yeah, since I watched, since I watched Deadpool, man, he says, "Don't leave your popcorn." That's a douchebag move. I kind of understand, especially when you work, you wanna don't be taking the piss. So, guys, seriously, when you finish, finish watching your movie, don't be a douchebag, man. Literally, just get your popcorn and bin it. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. So we're saying, Spider-Man: Homecoming. You can start off. Yeah, it was good, man. Yeah. It was really good. Do you think uh, it finally? Do you think he got finally redeemed in this movie? Nah, well, but that whole the whole um, Andrew Garfield Spider-Man, that wasn't my Spider-Man. This guy. Yeah, you know what? For like, me, it, Tom Holland. Tom Holland made me a Spider-Man fan again. Tom Holland brought back for me the Tobey Maguire days. Um, so for me, he's Spider-Man, and he's Peter Parker. Um, I think the movie was cool. It was actually two hours and fifteen minutes. It felt like it was such a short movie. Um, really, really loved. Oh, hold on one second, one second. Yeah, I was just, I was just checking to see if the if the if the audio recorder was on. Yeah. So what was I saying? Yes. So literally, he made me feel like like he just said back in the Tobey Maguire uh, days. Really pulled back the web slinger, literally to his. Sorry, guys. Yeah. You had permission from anyone to uh, film here? No. Yeah, we need permission to film in the cinema. You can't be filming. In the I'm not, I'm not, we're, not, we're not doing anything in there. We're just doing yeah, just like reviewing the movie. So, as you can see, I was literally just in. I was in the prime. I was in the crunch. 
as I was about to do a sick review, then the, the guy just pretty much told us, like, yeah, it's understandable. Yeah, kind of sad though. But we, were, we weren't really, the thing is, we weren't even fi filming them, like logos or anything, so, but. Yeah, man, you know, for a minute there. But yeah, man, no coming. Definitely gonna watch it again. Wait, one sec, before. You know what, I'll, every time I come past this, I always think of Captain America when I see this. Look at that. Alright guys, we're back after being... We get kicked out. Yeah, slightly. <laughs> slightly, the guys said we can't record in the, in the movies. I was like, yo, we're not actually in the, uh, the movies, bro. We're outside. Just doing a review. So where were we? Oh yeah, I was saying... Right, one, Spider-Man Homecoming was a very dope, emotional twisted movie that really one redeemed the web slinger from the last two spider-man movies were which were totally in my eyes totally garbage i actually enjoyed this movie and yeah like he was saying tom holland is peter parker and spider-man and i totally agree with him it brought back the toby Maguire days really enjoyed this movie colorful and but let's just let's just let me just address one thing what i loved Michael Keaton, man, as the as the vulture. So is this non spoilery? Yeah, it's non spoiler. Okay. I'm just saying, like Michael Keaton as the vulture, he was a beast. Totally uh, loved him. What are you saying? Yeah, it was, it was really good, man. It was almost it's almost like as if Marvel Studios was. You know, this <laughs> this is a Sony movie, but no, uh, it was it was it, it, it definitely because they had all the you know pop culture stuff, you yeah. know, trying to be cheesy. They had all them little bits you can tell. It wasn't your like traditional Marvel film. That's, yeah. that's how I sort of felt. But you can, it felt like Marvel was doing quality control. Yeah, so you, they you had could. had certain bits in it that, that Marvel. Marvel definitely just said, you know what? No, do it this way, do it this way, do it this way. And, you know, for him, like Tony Stark and whatnot, the whole extended Marvel universe. So, yeah, other than that, man, I think both companies come together made a beautiful movie so definitely yeah you could you could watch it definitely you could you could definitely feel the marvel creative team come feige was saying you know that marvel's creative team are basically in control of the movie so yeah you can you can, had that sony feel to it but then you can it, it was cool it had that marvel touch to it um but the movie was very very it was it was cool i really enjoyed the twists and turns and you know i really loved actually seeing the spider-man that i grew up around in the comics so, um, shout out to Zendaya Coleman. Like, her, uh, her performance was dope. Yeah, she was, she was one of my favorite characters in the movie. Definitely. Yeah. Zendaya, one of my favorite characters. She done an awesome job. Yeah. Just, I don't know, man. It was, there was a lot of originality in the movie. Yeah. That just felt, like, fresh. So, yeah, man. Definitely, definitely a step in the right direction. What I was happy was this movie wasn't an Iron Man 4, like everyone was talking about. Like this is very much a Spider-Man. It was a Spider-Man movie, so you guys are thinking you're going to get an Iron Man, an Iron Man movie? No, nah, it wasn't. It was, it was an, an official Spider-Man um, movie. What was the, ah? What was the, what was the guy's name? Parker's friend in the movie. What's his name? Ned. Yeah, Ned was. Ned was cool, dope. Um, Aunt May was dope. It was actually a very very cool movie. We had to watch a, a late show because there was no seats in the the previous early showing. But overall, guys, totally love the movie. Recommend that everyone watches it. If you're a Spider-Man fan, watch it. If you're not, you'll definitely be a Spider-Man fan. And yeah, um, what would you rate the movie? Boy, uh, out of ten. Yeah, I'm quite, I'm quite strict with my movie reviews. I know you are, man. But because it's a comic film, I enjoyed it. I give it a solid eight. You know what? For me, no movie can get a ten, regardless of Except the percentage. Avengers. The thing is, I find it, I find it difficult to tie this movie to a Marvel, to a Marvel, and to a Marvel. I can't I find it difficult. So, I'm not gonna be the company, so huh? I'm gonna start thinking that you're recording. It. No, no, I'm not. I'm not. But go on. Yeah, you might want to move the movie. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. People think that you're. No, go on. Go on. Um, I'll give the movie. Yeah. That I don't know, bro. I, I, I find it difficult. I, like I said, it, it felt like a Sony film, mm -hmm. so I'll tie. I'll give it like a good sort of eight, eight out of ten. I mean, I gave it. I give it an eight and a half. Um, I love the comedy. 
Well, exactly. I, I was thinking. I was thinking. The reason why the reason why I got stuck in is because I'm not. I'm not sure whether I'll put it in the list as a Marvel Cinematic movie or a comic book movie. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's why. That's why. Okay, as a comic book film, as a, as a standalone comic book film, I give it a nine out of ten. As a Marvel movie, wow, I give it an eight out of ten. Wow. Because, okay. Because they are Marvel films. <laughs> They're, they're in their own category already. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay, guys. So, literally, I'll give, I'll give it eight and a half. I'm looking forward to see the next Spider-Man movie that comes out. And looking to see the man himself, Peter Parker, in um, Avengers Infinity War. Solid movie. Loved it. Redeemed the Spider-Man that redeemed Spider-Man from those last two movies again, which I'm going to repeat. I actually enjoyed it. Loved it. Loved Stanley's cameo. Yeah. AKA Stan the Man, the bring, Watcher bring Lee. On four. Bring, on four. bring on Ragnarok and see what's up. So, that being said, guys, we'll catch you guys uh, what for Ragnarok. Yeah, yeah. Peace. Peace.